I don't even want to know what October 23rd has to do with anything. <laughs> I'm just going to stay out of it. It but seems vague enough to be like the start of like a horror film or something. The number 23. Honestly, <laughs> anything in October is already scary enough, so. Do you know what happened on this day? <laughs> oh, no. You took my stock, but I took your life. <laughs> That's how it is, man. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop now. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Swan dive off the side. Oh, oh the Hobies suck. <laughs> Let's go. These two are so cute. Giving us a show here today. <laughs> okay, right now Jalen just putting a, a lot of pressure on him. See you. See what Roshinko can do here. Oh. This yeah. is the hardest angle of all time. I mean, Roshinko definitely wanted that dare, but <laughs> kind of sent yourself a little too far there. Yeah. No, sometimes there's a point. It's like, yeah, you can just do it, kill yourself, you know. The side B does not get the up tilt punish. Nair off stage. What's the put? Oh, double jab. Okay, that's going to work. Bear off stage. Looks like it's going to be okay. Side B does just make it. Just enough. I'm actually surprised. And he just waits for him there. Smart up smash. 65% right here for uh, for CEO. Let's see what can happen here. But uh, Ryan really showing him what's up. Even after the homie stock. Does that shine a little bit? So CEO does punish. Oh. Ooh. Good uh, uh, sh near shines actually from uh, CEO. Barely even doesn't make it. All right, Rashingo looking good right now. How long can he hang on to the stock here? Kind of getting bounced around here. That's a scary spot to fire. Oh. Yeah, that was asking for it. Yeah, that was a good job, though. Like, probably max range. Hits him up. Uh-oh. Ooh, a little bit off on that up tilt. Ooh, nice uh, short hop uh, up air from CEO. That shine stopping the back here. Another shine here. Oh, much for the bear doesn't get it. See what manages to get the platform in time. Oh, oh down smash. Okay. That was a good tack. The jab oh, again. Oh, just, just in time. The nice bear. back air. Sealing the deal. Shinko coming out on top for game number one. That was such a close ending right there. What do you think about homie stocks in tournament? Um. <laughs> well, I I don't know. I think like it's it's a good idea, <laughs> in like theory, if you're homies. But I don't think it's something you do all the time. Like what I usually my rule is with homie stock is like all homie stock if like you're low, like if like if you're destroying me the whole game and you're just like, and you kill yourself like I'll kill myself, cause like you were do you putting in the work in like I didn't put any work in I'm getting a free stock like gotcha, but if it's just like whatever like someone dies at like 90 from a missed ledge dash I'm like okay that's your fault <laughs> shouldn't shouldn't do that, fair enough. And we are seeing the Marth come out here. So yeah, this is it's not looking too good. Rashingo's just gonna have to space himself out a little bit and just laser and see what he can get from that. Yeah, just like that. That was pretty good. Try to get as much as he can, because Marth is Marth's pretty floaty. So if he can, yeah, I was gonna say if he can dare, he can get like a, a pretty free nair. It does give him the, the ledge though. Good bear. Mm -hmm. Trying to go for that tipper. I was watching a Mita King thing recently, and he was saying that around that percent where you can tipper, it's, he said it's much better to go for like a few up airs and then go for something like that. It's just more, like more guaranteed. Hmm. But because if you di in as like as if your target uh, di's in, then it's like it's kind of rough. But oh, like that. Yeah. That just enough nice. to kill. Yeah, like when you when you're at the end like that, it's like there's no reason not to. 
But if you're in like middle stage, like you can go for a few more up airs. Let's see. Let's go for the double dare. There's another one. <sighs> Possibly saves his life, actually. Oh. That was the most slicker thing I've seen. <laughs> the spot dodge shine special. Now we just need a run past forward smash. Yeah, for real. Oh, jabs him, doesn't do anything with it. Doesn't get the up here. Up here. Rip. <laughs> All right, yeah, so it looks like you got go for up next, eh? All right. Peach matchup. Yeah, I actually don't mind it as Ganon. I like, I think I've only lost to like Hammer's Peach like once. Okay. Uh, in like set. Mm -hmm. And like, so I think that's good. I think if I can be Hammer, I think I should be able to beat Chris Gopher. They both, uh, they both have different play styles though. So. The no tech skill god. Wait, match almost done. I won't go to game three. Yeah, see it's done. There you go. Thanks guys. Good luck. Have fun. You guys having fun? <laughs> All right, Pokemon Stadium, game number three. All right, good, good little combo there to start things off for Moshinko. All right, this year returning the favor with pretty much the exact amount of percent. And I don't think, oh, yeah, just barely. Max range side B. The get up attack actually catching him off guard. That laser was so close to actually stopping his recovery. Firebird on point up air. That ain't Fox, so it's not going to kill just yet. Back here, sending him off to the right as well. Look for this forward smash, just barely misspaced. Down smash down on cross, but he did manage to tech it up bit, I think. The Dragon Ball Z moment actually going in CO's favor. Should note that he is definitely not Morph anymore. I live in past 200 at this point. Finally, the back air gun delete him off the right-hand side. Okay, the pit of or one of the many pits here on Pokemon Stadium. Both of them kind of trading, trading some time in the pit, but I think Roshinko is a little more worse for wear after that. Okay, forward smash gonna trump out the back air, shine into back air. It's gonna make him just out of side B range, taking the stock. Shaco closing in, looking like, kind of had him locked there for a second, but just couldn't find a kill move. Down air, send him off stage. Lasered, teching off of the down air. See, he was still living. Okay, back air near the ledge. Gonna take the stock, almost another 200% stock there for CO. You guys have been taking a ton of damage, but at least he's been able to live for the most part. Okay, some nice damage coming out there from Roshinko. Grabbed. Okay, throws him off. The transformation, what on earth? The transformation initially made things worse, but then it actually helps with the down air, sending him down for the spike. We do have the pit of death here. Gonna use those platforms. Assist with that up air. Game three, last stock. 
tournament lives on the line and for the first couple seconds of this stock it has been all Roshinko. Grand Fox has way more off the top kill options which definitely favors this stage. Gotta watch out for that forward smash. He does manage to get it. Oh no. Seo gonna take it 2-1. 